So I've discovered a pretty compact way of sorting minecarts and or stopping runaway minecarts, which has been a problem for me recently. <laughs> so here we go. I'll show you how to stop runaway minecarts first of all. This is my little circular track. And as long as I'm in the minecart, my cart will continue to go around unbothered. But as soon as I jump out, one of these little stations will stop it. Now, it might miss the first station if you're not going, uh, if you're going too fast, rather. So if I jump out after this booster track bit, yeah, it'll miss the first one, but then the next one will get it as it goes back around. Okay, so that's that. I'll explain this in just a bit. And now I'll show you my sorting mechanism, which is based on the same idea. You put a minecart in, it goes along, and goes over there. Put in a storage minecart, same thing should happen. But if I'm in a minecart, go to the human side, and not the non-human side. So that's how it works. Now, let me explain to you how it works. <laughs> um, so this, I discovered this mechanism while playing around with my last helical wheat farm, where I had a bunch of pressure pads and carts going around in circles around them. Basically, pressure pads that are in the nook of a corner a minecart is taking will be pressed by the minecarts, but only some of the time, and I was trying to figure out why this happened. And the reason seems to be a speed. See, right now the minecart is going around very quickly, about max speed, and it's not hitting the pressure plate at all. But if I were to step in there and slow it down, it'll hit it a few times as it speeds up. That, and then it stops once it reaches its maximum velocity. So basically, this seems to be a speed-dependent reaction. And if the minecart is going fast enough, it will not hit the pressure plate. So what I've done is taken that, and I've put a little pressure plate in the nook here, and if the minecart is going too slowly, it'll trigger the pressure plate, turn off the torch, and make this uh, turn into a brake, essentially, which will stop for a second, um, making the minecart pause. And when it turns back on, the minecart will not start moving again, because of the way booster tracks work. But if you're in it, and you happen to be going uh, full speed, or I guess if it happens to be going full speed in any case, since it doesn't really notice if you're in it or not, it's just speed dependent, it won't stop. Um, and the same system is used over here. But instead of a booster track, I have here a regular track which turns depending on whether or not the pressure plate is clicked and changes the direction of these carts. So this seems like a pretty good system in terms of just space efficiency, but the problem is it's a little bit finicky to set up. Once you set it up properly, it does work very reliably, but the problem is you have to know the speed of your minecart at a particular spot in your track. Now, if you have a long track you're using for transportation between your bases, this is probably not going to be a problem, since you're probably going full speed the whole time. So if you just get a part of your track where there's no boosters and put one of these at the end of it, you're likely to catch any runaway carts that get away from you. Um, so as long as you figure that out, and like over here it took me a while to figure out exactly how many tracks and how far away it needed to be, for the difference between somebody being in it and somebody not being in it to, to be the difference between clicking and not clicking this plate here. But once you set it up, it works every time, and it's small. So that's my system. Let me know what you think. Ah. <laughs>